Hello and welcome to the Monday, June 3rd, 2024 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Xavier came across an interesting little info stealer written in Python. Now, this info stealer appears to be targeting Windows and, well, it also uses a somewhat odd way to exfiltrate the data, gofile.io. Actually, a little bit surprised if you haven't seen gofile.io earlier. Probably has been used for a while, just didn't notice it. It's one of those sites where you're able to upload data to and uh, with a free account you are limited how much data you can upload and how long the data is being kept at GoFile, but it's sufficient for the needs of your average info stealer. This info stealer is looking for passwords. It's not just looking for specific uh, files. Instead, it has a list of words, things like password, login, secret, and whenever it finds a file that contains uh, these particular words, well, it considers it a password file and attempts to exfiltrate the data. In addition, it also goes for specific crypto coin wallets. Xavier is calling this particular info stealer Kiwi and the I here is replaced with the number one because that's a string that is present in a number of locations kind of identifying this particular info stealer. And talking about malware, Kaspersky has released a tool that, that is put for free that should help you look for malware specifically on Linux systems. They call it the Kaspersky Virus Removal Tool or KVRT. It's a simple signature based tool. So this is something that you run once if you are a little bit suspicious about a system. Maybe you find a system that uh, wasn't in your inventory and you want to take a quick look at it, get sort of a first quick triage out of it. There are multiple other tools like this around, but this is sort of one area where you always kind of want to give the latest, greatest tool a try because, well, with all these signature-based tools, the more accurate and the more current your signatures are, the better the tool. And on Friday, security company Hudson Rock uh, did publish a blog post uh, suggesting that Snowflake may have been a compromise. Snowflake is an AI training company, essentially you're uploading your data into their cloud and they will use their resources to do training on that data. Of course, no great service for example if you don't want to buy a bunch of gpus and such yourself but uh, with that of course snowflake also holds a lot of highly proprietary data which uh, made this potential breach highly critical well uh, since then snowflake has stated that they themselves have not been breached but what apparently happened according to snowflake is that a number of their customers were breached because they did not enable two-factor authentication and their passwords had been leaked in other breaches so classic credential stuffing i think that's a good reminder that whenever you do upload confidential data into someone else's cloud, be highly aware of that shared responsibility model and just the provider offering a non-multi-factor authentication option in order to protect that critical data doesn't necessarily mean that you should take them up on it, but probably opt for the multi-factor or if possible, the phishing resistant version of authentication. And talking about AI and credentials, Hugging Face uh, did publish an advisory that it believes the Spaces platform, in particular Spaces Secrets, uh, may have been leaked. I mentioned Hugging Face uh, before they offer essentially a place to exchange machine learning models, but also this Spaces feature, which allows you to run models within Hugging Face's uh, resource, which is essentially sort of a container uh, serverless uh, solution. 
That particular solution has had some issues uh, in the past where uh, they had some leaks uh, across a tenant uh, in their Spaces platform. And this looks like another sort of instance of this. In particular, critical here, Spaces secrets are the authentication tokens that you're using in order to communicate and authenticate yourself uh, with uh, Spaces. So Hugging Face does suggest that you probably do want to revoke these if they haven't already been done so and they did notify users via email if they believe that their credentials were affected. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for telling others about this podcast and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.